episode number three. It's dinner time. Around here we like to kick off our, our shoes, maybe put our pajama pants on. We always like throw in some jazz, maybe a glass of wine, uh, and uh, uh, do, do dinner right. Uh, tonight we're going to be making uh, meatball pasta, uh, like a white sauce meatball pasta. Um, but uh, what's going to be unique about the, the meat that we're going to be using, the meatballs, is that it's uh, not just ground beef, but it's also a venison. Uh, a great friend of ours, uh, Cody Newman, brought us some backstrap from Illinois on his way through from a deer hunt, and uh, we are going to put it into uh, our meatballs tonight. And so uh, we have a lot of yummy stuff we're going to put together here. Uh, we're going to then we're going to sear our meat meatballs, get them nice and brown in here, and then we're going to pop them into a, a Dutch oven uh, with the sauces and everything. We're gonna, that's going to go in the oven. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to get. Uh, we want our uh, meat to bind. It's a little bit, you know, wet and all that stuff. And we got all of this yummy stuff. So we've got um, spices here. Uh, we're gonna throw. In. We got some celery seed, onion powder, crushed red pepper, uh, smoked paprika, black uh, pepper, salt. We got some homegrown oregano right here, and some Thai basil that uh, Leslie grew in our garden, um, and she dehydrated them. Um, it's all of this yumminess. This is going to uh, go into our mix here. Uh, we are going to throw in a good, nice portion of finely chopped onions. There's a whole lot of meat there. I love red onions. Red onions are my favorite. Here I've got uh, from uh, breakfast this morning, actually, we've got some mushrooms left over and some, some bell peppers. And so I diced up a little bit more bell peppers and we're going to toss these mushrooms and bell peppers in here because why not? And ultimately, we're going to throw an egg in here and combine it all together. Uh, and that is going to hopefully uh, stick together for us. If one doesn't do it, maybe we'll go get another egg and two will do it. So first thing that I'm seeing is that this bowl might not be big enough. So we're going to transfer this bowl over to this over to a much bigger bowl. And then, all right, bigger bowl, <laughs> uh, movie magic. Anyway, so we're going to just press all of this down, get it nice and mushed in here. Uh, at this point, uh, we kind of have just like a big, big meatball, if we're lucky. Uh, so. Uh, we're going to um, take it out of the bowl and do a little bit more, a little bit more mash in here, so we can get it all to be nice and firm and solid when we go to make our meatballs. Uh, God, look at all those colors: onion, the bell pepper, and the spices. This already smells absolutely incredible. Now, um, yes, yeah, so we have. That's a spicy meatball. That's the biggest spicy meatball. Anyway, so um, we're going to spawn small small meatballs now. So we're gonna take these about now. We've, we're gonna have uh, two different sizes. At the end, we're gonna save a little bit, and we're actually gonna be using our London's Most Wanted Outlaw Pepper Jelly, which is our little bit spicy. And so we're gonna have uh, some smaller meatballs um, that we're going to be tossing in some of the some of the jelly glaze uh, for, for, for an order we're going to be doing that uh, separately but as we are as we're getting ready now we're going to make our meatballs nice about about like this like uh, my Italian grandmother who isn't Italian would make crackers that we threw in at the beginning um, we're literally just regular saltine crackers. I just crushed them up, put them in there, threw the egg in, all of that yumminess. Uh, I learned from watching my mother make meatloaf uh, growing up as far as uh, being able to make it stick together and all of that. Uh, these are looking absolutely spectacular. All of these beautiful colors. So this is gonna take a little while. I'm gonna make all of these uh, into about this size and then I'm gonna make a few small ones. Um, once I get that all finished, um, we'll come back and uh, we'll turn our next step. Hey, she makes an appearance. It's Leslie, guys. Thank you, she's convinced me that I was making them too big and that we should cut them in half. And as usual, uh, she's right. 
These will cook much quicker now. They'll probably be much tastier this way. They'll get a little bit probably even crisper. Um, and we don't have to worry about the center of them being uh, uncooked. I'm going to start off by putting uh, three uh, tablespoons of uh, vegetable oil in our pan here and get it uh, turned on high heat. We're probably going to pull the heat down a little bit because we don't want this to get too hot and just burn the outside of these things immediately and then the inside's really, really uncooked. When we get that heat on, I'm also going to go ahead and set the oven to 420 degrees and get that warming up. That way that's ready whenever we're ready. So also over here we have pasta, our, our penne regatta. Uh, it's already finished, it's ready to go. We're gonna be doing something. Uh, most people just boil their pasta and then they put their sauce in there, uh, whatever. Uh, I'm gonna do something special with the pasta that's gonna bring out the, the, the flavors and the wheats and the, the grains and stuff like that. Uh, uh, by giving it a little uh, sear and some butter and some garlic and that. See, it's starting to to shimmer across there, it's time to dance a little bit so that we know that it's it's hot and it's ready to go. It's time to put our, our meatballs on. So our first one's going in. Oh yes, and you can hear them already, so you know that ready, we're gonna put them in here. Counterclockwise, so we know where we started from, and I like to give them all a little bit of space so they don't run into each other and start sticking to each other. That's the first round. Like that. Watch these as they get brown. Keep an eye on all of them. So I uh, finish these up and get these browned up. Check out this little uh, tip I've got for you. How to save your oils. Hey guys, Jeremy with a quick tip. Now we always have uh, uh, leftover oils and stuff after we cook. Uh, I believe I uh, made some chicken in this. Uh, so, you know, I wouldn't want to use it with anything besides the meat or whatever, but we can save this oil. And uh, how do we do that? So what I like to do is I like to uh, just take a good old coffee filter, uh, get a bowl, pop our little strainer on it, pop our coffee filter in there, like so, and then pour, you know, them doses, not all at once, our, uh, our stuff in there, watch, uh, watch it drain through and filter through, and then boom, you got clean grease. These ones are getting to be pretty, uh, pretty brown, all this in order. Please subscribe to our channel, it's London's Most Wanted. We're gonna be doing this, uh, this hopefully uh, a lot. We're really enjoying this and people seem to be liking it. Uh, please spread the word. Uh, we've got an Etsy store, London's Most Wanted, where we have our pepper jellies for sale, and our breads, and artwork, all kinds of stuff. Um, meanwhile, this smells amazing. We'll come back whenever uh, this all gets brown and ready to go to the next phase. All right, so we'll be pulling this off the heat. We've got our meatballs over there in the Dutch oven. I'm gonna be setting this aside for now, but I'm gonna be cleaning this up because I'm gonna be using this with the pasta in just a second, all right? So I'm gonna set this aside for now. Hopefully uh, an elf will come over and magically clean that for me. We all need magical elves. Um, anyway, so we're gonna move over to the uh, Meatballs. <laughs> you just... The way that this smells right now is just so spectacular. Uh, it, uh, you can still see the herbs and the peppers and everything in it, but it's just so beautifully brown. So chicken broth, we're gonna give it a little shake. Put it in there, yum. And now we're gonna take the wreck. rest of, this is the chicken stock. We're gonna take this and put this in here as well. And we'll get this all nice and moved around. 
all beautiful in there. Get it all in. This is getting ready to go into a 420 degree oven. some attention. Uh, whenever you start noticing it getting a little bit brown, uh, then you know that you're making a change in the... Uh... It's better than I even thought it would be. <laughs> wow. Winner. Definitely worth it. You guys have to try this. Holy cow. This one was a little bit more complicated, but well worth it. Uh, we've got uh, venison and uh, ground beef and meatballs with all of this deliciousness. We've got pasta that was then put in garlic butter and, and fried on the pan. I don't know what you call it. It was just made delicious. Anyway, if you guys could tolerate us anymore, please hit the subscribe button. We appreciate you.